Okay, so this is a really long brush squeegee thing that was here when we got here. It's got some, uh, this piping, I guess. It says above ground and underground schedule 40, and it looks like they taped it together. And I think the previous owners did this. So I'm just gonna use this to clean off my, pa my panels on my um, greenhouse because uh, I know it's not gonna hold. And it's starting to rain. So I don't want this to cave in on me or in on itself. I have not reinforced it yet. So I'm just gonna keep it cleaned off the best I can until I do. A couple inches of snow. And now it's raining, freezing rain on top of that, so kind of keep it cleaned off. There. Mainly I use this for um solar panel. Mainly I use this to clean off the panels, which I may do to see if we can get a little bit of uh, power today. Even though it's cloudy and crappy, we may get a little bit. Um, so anything we can get to help is good. So let's go do that. Hopefully that's not too blurry with the rain coming down, but panels are all cleaned off. And I did the cover it. There wasn't a lot of snow, but when you get rain on top of it, it weighs it down quite a bit. Rain and freezing rain. So I thought I'd clean that off. I don't want that caving in, so, cause I want the chickens to be able to have their area. Next is the Twinkie. I'm gonna do that keep that cleaned off and uh, that'll be it for playing around in the snow today I guess all right so the Twinkies done and then I brushed off the chicken coop as you can see and I'm going to clean off the the uh, little deck here for the chickens and their pathway a little bit so that they can see the darker area. When it's all white, they have a hard time distinguishing where they need to go. So when they want to go back in, I want them to know they can just follow this path. And you'll notice throughout the winter as we get snow that there'll be, this will be plowed, but before we plow it, I do a little, in the first thing in the morning, I do a path so they can get to underneath the deck and back to their coop when they need to and uh, keep things cleaned off until we can get the tractor going and bring that around and clean up out here. Okay, so there's a little path that I just brushed out for them so they can figure out that they need to go in there when they're ready. And uh, that just gets them outside and they can enjoy it and not be inside pooping all over everything that's a pain in the butt. All right, I don't know if you can see this. This is our thermometer I have outside. It's kind of wacky, but 
hopefully I don't know if you can see that line or not I can't tell on the GoPro I think you can but it looks like about 25 degrees or so so that's what it is it's pretty chilly on my hands it's cold um so yeah so that's the temperature right now my birdhouse nothing in there Okay guys, so this is the next day, and uh, as you can see, the sun's out today. Um, it's cold though, but the uh, panels did not hold. They blew out again because we had wind blow, and uh, so Scott helped me put, we've got some like half a pallets, they're just like, a, um, they're not full pallets, kind of, they're not like that one, they're just, just a couple boards. On there anyway we had some kicking around we've had them for a while and I just kept them packed up style uh, stacked up because I thought that they would um, come in handy sometime and they did so we tied a rope on each end of them and flopped one over one side and one on this side um, we did four and uh, so that like will disperse the weight onto the metal frame instead of onto the plastic because it's not staying. Then come around this side. Then we took a tarp and we threw it over the top. So hopefully that tarp will, um, he's got it tied down and bungeed. And then I've got pieces of metal roofing here that I put in where that hole was because that's where that panel was that I tried to fix the other day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll drop the link down in the description if you're interested in seeing that. Um, the door blew out again, so I put this metal panel up, but it's too tall to stand up, so it's laying down. I'm going to have to do something else, but I have my granddaughter right now, and it's really hard to do anything like that with her because she wants you to play in the snow, and that's understandable. So, um, so anyway, so I've got that kind of partially blocked off until I have time to come out and figure out uh, what I can do. I might be able to put the door back on and hold that in somehow but um anyway we've got it covered up and for the most part all the way around and hopefully that'll keep the snow from going inside for the most part and caving it in uh for this winter then we'll have to do something next spring or summer with it um the chickens are all out here Katie brought out some seeds, so Yeti's telling, telling the girls that there's some seeds out here. <laughs> He's such a good boy. They're out here enjoying the sun today. Did you find some seeds, guys? <laughs> I guess so. All right, anyway, so, you know, panels are cleared off. Um, and chickens are happy. And uh, I guess that's it for today. That's all there is. So we've got that all set for the winter, I hope. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, 
Have a great day. Appreciate you watching. See ya.